Can you tell our viewers about your company and your role there? I'm uh, Roger Dent with Quinsome Capital. I'm the CEO of the company. Uh, we're a, an unusual uh, vehicle in the small cap space. We're actually a publicly traded vehicle uh, on the Canadian Stock Exchange that invests in companies, provides advice to companies, uh, in, acts in some respects uh, as an investor, some respects as an advisor, uh, really a, 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 a micro cap uh, focused uh, merchant bank. What is your approach to valuation? We take a very subjective approach to valuation. We're basically looking to find stocks that we feel are very inexpensive. However, uh, the way we determine that uh, is, is uh, subjective and varies from industry to industry. Uh, what we're really trying to find are stocks that are off the beaten track, that have something very interesting about them that is not broadly perceived in the marketplace. And when you're dealing in the microcap space, companies that have market caps of 10 or 20 or 30 uh, million, uh, in many instances, these companies are not well understood by the marketplace. Uh, there are usually no analyst forecasts. There's usually no forward-looking guidance. So uh, what we try to do is find companies where there's something exciting going on uh, that is not obvious uh, by reading the, uh, the public disclosure uh, and getting involved in them within three to six months of when these exciting events uh, are likely to happen. And uh, what we're looking for are companies where um, news is coming uh, that we think is not understood by the marketplace, that when it comes is going to attract attention and cause uh, stock prices to, uh, to increase. Do you think small caps have outperformed large cap names this year? Small caps, uh, uh, it's, it's a very diverse group of companies. So uh, we started Quinson back in November, uh, and since that time, we're up something like 60 to 70 percent over the course of the last eight to ten months. So from our perspective, uh, the small caps that we've been investing in have very, very strongly outperformed large caps. However, uh, it's a very diverse sector. Uh, there are, there are uh, aspects of the small cap marketplace that are very difficult right now. The mining sector continues to be very much out of favor. Uh, but other areas are in favor, and, and uh, if you uh, focus in the small cap space in the areas that are topical and interesting, uh, we think you can outperform on a pretty consistent basis. How do you take advantage of the risk reward with small cap stocks? Small cap stocks, uh, by virtue of the fact that you know, in many cases you're dealing with companies that have uh, a, a single product, uh, a single technology, uh, they are inherently more risky than, than large cap companies, simply by virtue of their size. Uh, plus you've got market risk, uh, they're often thinly traded, uh, the, the, the stock prices can bounce around just based on day-to-day uh, -day emotion and the actions of, of, of a small number of individual investors. So we try to be uh, reasonably diversified in our approach. We'll typically have 20 to 30 companies uh, that we're invested in at any given time. Uh, and uh, you know we try to be sufficiently diversified that uh, if something goes wrong with a company, it isn't that serious a hit. Uh, on the other hand, we don't want to be so diversified that if we find a company that's a great performer, that it's not material. So we try to have enough uh, in our investments that they matter if we win, but not so much that if something goes wrong, uh, that it's uh, going to damage our uh, returns for the year. Can you tell our viewers some of your favorite small cap names? At any given time, we own uh, perhaps 30 names. A couple of the things that we own right now that are among the favorites would be uh, uh, NTG Clarity. Uh, this is a uh, company that implements technology uh, for major international uh, cellular telephone and other telephone companies. Uh, we think that it's trading somewhere around five or six times current year earnings. We think this is a, a bargain price for, uh, for, this type of, uh, for this type of company with its growth profile. Uh, another favorite of ours right now is Nuvo Research. Uh, this is a company that has, uh, it's in the life science area, it's got commercial products on the market. It also has some pretty new, exciting uh, products uh, in, in, in advanced clinical development uh, that we think have blockbuster potential. So uh, Nuvo, uh, we're looking forward to them uh, hopefully relicensing their existing commercial products uh, uh, on very favorable commercial terms, uh, hopefully by the end of the year. We're also looking for uh, exciting news coming out of the clinic early in 2015. So in the life science space, it's probably right now our, our favorite name. Thanks for taking the time for today's interview, Roger. Glad to be here. Thanks a lot. Looking for more interviews with small cap CEOs? Be sure to visit the smallcappower.com companies page.
And be sure to listen to all of our interviews on smallcappower.fm.